Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the 2024 Good Systems Annual Symposium. I'm Jennifer Lyon Gardner. I am the Deputy Vice President for Research, Scholarship, and Creative Endeavors here at UT Austin. I'd like to welcome everybody at UT, see a lot of familiar faces, but then also um, everybody from outside of UT for joining us today. This is the signature annual event of our Research Grand Challenge, and its purpose is to bring everybody together to think a little bit more about designing AI technologies for the benefit of society. Um, Good Systems, in case you're not familiar, is a campus-wide research initiative. It involves more than 30 disciplines on campus and about 150 researchers. It is in year five of its um, eight-year run, and this is our fourth annual symposium that we're hosting. So I thought before we got things going this afternoon with Christian's keynote talk, we would um, maybe celebrate a few of the highlights from this year uh, from the Grand Challenge. Good systems researchers are investigating and innovating in the field of ethical AI in a very wide range of areas. You saw those listed um, in the video, um, our six core projects. Um, these involve everything from creating augmented reality welding tools that leverage AI to enhance safety and improve training to keep, help workers keep safe, um, to, um, to combating the spread of digital disinformation, creating technical solutions for data privacy concerns, supporting equitable and fair smart city development, and also understanding and mitigating biases of all kinds in AI systems in critical areas like healthcare and transportation. Good systems researchers have increased understanding of issues in AI through the media. We've spoken with journalists this year from everything from Fortune to NPR and CBS. Uh, you can often find us out and about at numerous conferences, both academic and in the non-academic sector. Several uh, presentations just recently at South by Southwest. Uh, the International Symposium for Trustworthy Autonomous Systems, the National Conference for State Legislators, and also the Academy for Medicine, Engineering, and Science in Texas, or TAMIS, um, AI and Machine Learning Conference that was held earlier this year. We've had a lot of scholarly outputs as we usually do this year alone. Good systems researchers have published more than 30 papers and there are plenty more uh, along the way. We've also recently launched a six episode podcast series called Generation AI. We do this in partnership with The Drag, which is a really outstanding student podcast group here at UT and Texas Student Me Media. That podcast series, uh, Generation AI, aims to make topical issues in AI accessible for a broad audience, in case you uh, don't want to read the 50 papers uh, and raise ethical questions. When it comes to informing AI policy, Good Systems is serving as a trusted resource for policymakers at all levels, local, state, federal. Uh, we found out just a day or two ago that we've been invited to join a NIST's AI um, Safety Institute Consortium. We're very excited to be doing that. Uh, we also um, have, we also as a grand challenge have met with members of Austin City Council and also with the Bipartisan Innovation and Technology Caucus of the Texas Legislature to share our research in insights and expertise. We've also met with U.S. Senators, officials at the Pentagon, and a delegation of the EU Parliament. Good Systems also contributes a lot to experiential learning and teaching here on the UT campus. Uh, we're modeling re approaches that are responsive to the ever-changing needs of our students. Just this past year, Good Systems worked closely with the Department of Computer Science and the College of Natural Sciences to develop a course that's for everyone, um, no prior CS experience or requisites required, um, called Essentials of AI for Life and Society, and that's led by several of our executive team members. It featured top faculty lecturers across a broad range of disciplines. In addition, um, Good Systems is currently leading the Ethics, and Ethics of AI course, which is the only required course for the new UT Masters of Science in AI. Um, that's a brand new online master's degree. It enrolls hundreds of students, um, and that course is a foundational course for everybody that joins that program. Finally, if you haven't already heard, 2024 is officially the year of AI at UT Austin. Um, what that means is that several partners across campus, and Good Systems is one of the major anchor partners, are working with the President's Office and the Provost's Office to develop a campaign that showcases UT's commitment to and leadership in ethical AI. So we're inviting even more students, alumni, professionals, and partners to join us in this overarching mission of transforming lives for the benefit of society. You might know that UT's top tagline is, what starts here changes the world. Um, my own bias as a research VP is that that all starts with research. 
And so our interdisciplinary research in AI, which is grounded in ethics and grounded in shared values, is helping us expand our notions on how we can change the world. We hope that you'll join us in this work, and we hope that you'll walk away from the symposium today and tomorrow feeling like you've learned something that maybe expands the way you're thinking about AI. So with that, I'd like to invite up to the stage our current chair of the Good Systems Grand Challenge, Professor Sherry Greenberg. She is professor of practice and also assistant dean for state and local government engagement in the LBJ School of Public Affairs. She's going to tell us a little bit more about um, the program that we have lined up over the next couple days at the symposium. Wonderful to see everyone today. Thank you so much, Jennifer, and thank you all for joining us today for a dynamic and meaningful conversation about the role of ethics in artificial intelligence. We sure have a lot to talk about. If you've been reading the news, listening to podcasts, watching popular TV and films, or just scrolling through social media, it's likely you've been seeing and hearing a lot, maybe even an overwhelming amount, about AI. From disinformation and deep fakes to the uh, writer's strike in Hollywood to OpenAI's leadership struggles to President Biden's executive order and guidelines for an AI Bill of Rights, AI news surrounds us. It is everywhere. It certainly has our attention. Today, I'd like you all to think about how we can use this attention to our advantage. We have the opportunity to make ethics and shared values a central part of the AI conversation. Each and every one of us has something valuable to contribute to help create the future and what we wish to see in that future. At Good Systems, the future we imagine is one where human AI partnerships are ethics forward, ethics-centered, human-driven and human-centered, and inclusive, where AI tools help us unlock greater potential, focus on the big questions, improve systems at every level, propel creativity to new heights, and most of all, advance equity and quality of life for everyone. For AI to benefit everyone, it needs to have a seat at the table, and everyone needs a seat at the table. And Good Systems is committed to convening interdisciplinary, cross-sector conversations, such as this one we're having today, but to have them year-round, because we believe that by working together, by truly breaking out of our silos, by co-creating, we can not only meet this grand challenge, but transform entire systems. From research processes, to teaching practices, to workplace cultures, to the relationships between academia, industry, government, and civil society, and ultimately, our relationships with technology and with each other. And we could not do this important work without our partners and without all of you. Many thanks to our collaborators who are here from the City of Austin, MITRE, the Trustworthy Autonomous Systems Hub, and Responsible AI UK, and the Austin Forum for Technology and Society, as well as the I2C Squared Institute from here on UT campus, Texas Robotics here from campus, and the Institute for the Foundations of Machine Learning here on campus, and so many others who are here with us today. Your insights are invaluable to our research and to this continuing conversation, and we thank you. During the course of the symposium, you'll hear about the big questions our research group is asking and our stakeholder-centered approaches to designing AI technologies that aim to advance racial equity, curb the spread of myths and disinformation, empower residents and decision makers in our cities and communities, investigate our privacy and surveillance needs and standards, examine our relationships with robots, and improve worker safety and satisfaction through AI embedded tools. And we have some fantastic guest speakers lined up for you. Today, you will hear an opening keynote on amplifying human capabilities from Christian Hammond, who is visiting us from Northwestern University. Thank you, Christian. Then I am fortunate to be moderating a panel discussion with experts in industry, government, and education on the new landscape of work as generative AI transforms jobs 
and employer and employee expectations. And then we will close our day with a poster session and networking reception right outside these doors. Tomorrow morning, Good Systems researchers and partners leading our six core research projects will share their latest insights and demonstrate some of the exciting new technologies they are developing. We will then close out the day with a keynote banquet luncheon featuring Helen Nissenbaum visiting from Cornell Tech to talk about contextual integrity and a positive approach to thinking about privacy, something I know we're all concerned about. We hope you will join us for the full program, ask a lot of questions, make some great connections, and find new inspiration and a reinvigorated sense of motivation. Thank you.